vaccines, I wouldn't even question. Okay, now we're in a situation of COVID. Bruce, are you against vaccines? I go, not Novavax. I go, what's so different about Novavax versus Moderna and Pfizer and Johnson and Johnson? Novavax is the original version of vaccine where you take viruses, break them up into pieces and inject the pieces. They're not reproducible. They don't go into the cell. They don't, the cells don't make these pieces. They're not, you know, anything. The immune system recognizes the pieces and will make a response against it. So I say, so why is it relevant? I say, it's the only vaccine that's not gene therapy. <laughs> it's like, well, great, why? I do not want to be a uh, lab rat in the gene therapy experiment called messenger RNA vaccines. It's an experiment? I go, absolutely an experiment. Matter of fact, if you got the vaccine shot, you were supposed to sign a release. Uh, did you read the fine print? It says, this is an experiment. <laughs> and if it doesn't go well, I'm sorry, but you can't sue anybody for this. Uh, you're signed up uh, as, a, as a, a person who is, I've signed up to be an experiment. And I go, and when you sign up, then you lose all rights because you've accepted to be an experiment. So what's Bruce waiting for? Novavax is proven to be as good or not better than the mRNA, the new versions. And I go, yeah, and every test, it's been around the world, all the clinical trials and everything, and they're still holding off on approving it, even though it's already been proven better than the conventional mRNA one that's being used now. Why isn't it here? because they want to sell you messenger RNA vaccines. They want to use this version to start and say, all vaccines shall be messenger RNA vaccines from now. I go, this experiment is in process. Uh, how, how do you think the results of the experiment? So I go, hey, it's a guess. You're in an experiment. I have no idea what the hell the results are gonna be. Do I wanna be in the experiment? As I always joke, but it's not a joke. I want to be in the control group. Why? When you do an experiment, you get the experimental group that gets whatever the experimental treatment is, but you also have what is called a control group. I go, what is that? They don't get the treatment. But then at the end of the, the whole experiment, you look at what is the consequence on those that got the uh, vaccine versus what is the consequence on the control group that did not get the vaccine? And the answer is you can only tell an experiment by having a control group, because what is the difference between getting it and not getting it? And the idea is they don't want a control group. They want everybody to get it. So I'm on my little soapbox today. I'm sorry. And the reason is this, there's a vaccine waiting for me. I'll take it. I'll take that Novavax without even a second thought. Okay, why? Traditional, conventional, non-genetic therapy. And I say, why are they holding it off? Because they're trying to only sell us the new version that they wanna make all vaccines, messenger RNA vaccines. I said, this experiment is in process. And experiments don't get results in two weeks or three weeks. Experiments on living organisms sometimes months or years. And the idea is this, so how's this experiment working out? I said, I don't know. The data is not looking so good so far for, the, for, for those uh, that, that get the vaccine, especially those that believe the vaccine is gonna prevent them from getting COVID because Please, folks, read the fine print. The vaccine does not prevent you from getting COVID, and it does not prevent you from spreading COVID. The idea of the vaccine is only to stop the more serious consequence of, of COVID. It doesn't stop COVID, just the more serious consequence, those that go in the hospital and they're in emergency care, intensive care, that, that vaccine should help them not get there. And the question is this, how many people are, are really subjected to the negative side of the vaccine? I go, <laughs> the, the, we don't know what's gonna happen. So I volunteer, thank you very much. Bruce Lipton volunteers to be a member of the control group. I promise I will not get the vaccine so you can study me. Okay, <laughs> now I'm a happy guy. Uh, and, and, and that, my friends are not happy because they keep writing me. Bruce, did you get the vaccine yet? You know, a young person died of the vaccine. Uh, I mean, not the vaccine, young person died of the COVID. And that means everybody could die from the COVID. And I go, you don't know the circumstances of the people that are getting really sick. And I say, why? Oh my God, everything from stress levels to, uh, you know, to uh, all the comorbidities, uh, being uh, obese, uh, having diabetes type two, 
uh, having cardiovascular issues, having stress levels. These are the things that cause the side effects to manifest a, a serious issue. Oh, I'm so sorry to have to say this every time we get on the air, dear. This is not a get out of the woods. I got a shot. I am free. I am a healthy human person. I say, no, get a shot. You'll still get the COVID. That wasn't what the shot was for. And if you get that, because most people think, I got the shot. I am protected. I go, no, you are not. That is not what the shot is about. The shot is only to protect from the serious side effect consequences. And so 